Hey everybody, I'm Quadbro FPV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tune your quadcopter in the field. So we all tune our quadcopters. Um, we have to carry around big laptops, big heavy laptops. This isn't really a big laptop, but it's kind of heavy. Uh, puts a lot of strain on your back. But what if all you had to carry around was your simple, everyday, smart device? Well, that's now possible thanks to a few items. Let's see what you'll need. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to tune your quadcopter with your device. You're obviously going to want to need your quadcopter, your device with an app called Easy GUI Ground Station installed. You can get that for free. Um, something called an OTG cable, which converts a micro USB into a regular USB and then just a typical USB cable. So what you're going to want to do when you first download the Easy GUI app, go ahead and open it up, then take your OTG cable and plug it into your device. Then plug the OTG cable up to your typical regular USB cable. Make sure it's not just a power cable and that it's just a data cable you're going to kind of go ahead and plug it in uh, right here it'll prompt you to allow application easy GUI ground station to accept USB device you're going to want to hit use by default hit OK let me take that off screen for a minute and once you get it plugged in and start it up it's, you're going to get a screen like this um, so here you got just typical information about what's going on. As you can see, I have Beta Flight 3 right there. CPU load is 10% because I got 4K gyro and 2K PID loop. Um, SP3 runs that really well. And let's go on back out of there. And if you want to tune your PIDs, uh, you scroll over, uh, and there, here's info and then you go settings and you hit PID right there and then there's my current PIDs if you really want them but they're not complete quite yet um see there is uh, expo and RC rates uh got no LFP filters or low pass filters sorry um so that's how you tune your quad there. And you can do other things. Uh, let's see, if you hit clean flight config, it says you need to buy the full version to do this. But I just say no on that because you can easily do that at home unless you don't have a computer. Uh, you can set up ports. Uh, like uh, if, if you're setting up an S bus connection you could set it up through here <clears throat> um, modes you can set up your modes I've just got a arm switch on auxiliary one and a beeper switch on auxiliary two because I only fly an acro uh, let's see black box is a locked feature CLI uh, if you really need to use that I don't know why that happens but uh, we'll ignore it Let's see, logging. Uh, I really have no clue what that is. That, may, that might have something to do with black box. Trims. Uh, that's just trims. Uh, whoops, wrong thing. Uh, calibration is where you can calibrate your stuff. But if you only fly an acro, you don't really need this because you probably turn off your accelerometer. Um, let's see, under the info tab, you can uh, test your motors if you want to. Uh, GPS info, not really important for many quads. Graphs, uh, that doesn't appear to do anything. Let's see, map, 
That doesn't do anything, it looks like. Uh, see, under information, I uh, see, I already showed that. Let's see what these dash. This is dashboard one, I don't know what it is. Dashboard three, that's locked. Dashboard two, uh, that's not important. Again, ignore the beeping noise. Uh, let's see, checklist. Uh, that, that's actually pretty convenient. Uh, let's see, yeah. That's how you can configure your quad through your tablet or phone. Most of you are probably going to use your phone. Let's see, let me hit connect. It might be a little bit finicky because I'm using Betaflight 3. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And stay tuned for another video. Bye.